Hello guys, in the last tutorial we have used the dot online editor, but coming to now we are not going to use the dot online editor from now. We have the dot IDs which was created by many vendors, so we are going to use the dot IDs. <coughs> okay, the how you can download the dot ID? Go back to dot 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 language dot org okay install dot okay just click on dot vm virtual machine you can select windows linux or mac where you would like to install the dot id in windows we have the two type of processes one is install using command prompt and under it install using the setup wizard guys I am going to say you please install using the setup wizard click here dot sdk installer for windows and select your OS bit whether your OS is a 64 bit you can select this so guys unfortunately dot is not available for the 32 bit it will run only on the 64 bit OS one is the stable version and there is the developer version so guys always prefer the stable version click here and download the dot so guys I have already installed the dot in my laptop so I am not downloading right now you just click here and into the dot in your OS Okay guys, I hope that everyone have installed the dot. Okay. Just try to do some stuff like this. Create a dot sdk folder. Go there. Yeah. You may have the zip file. Okay, you need to unzip your dot file. That is your dot sdk whatever you have downloaded till now. It's your dot sdk you need to unzip your dot sdk here somewhere the location that you would like to prefer to keep the dot sdk and remember the path basically we are going to use the dot sdk path in next couple of minutes okay guys close this and go to ides install where is dot yeah just give me a couple of minutes guys we are going to install the ID Okay, give me a second guys okay guys in order to run dot language in your windows or mac or linux editors you need to have the dot id so just browse dot id you'll find something like this go down and you will have you have the many options here the ID is from the JetBeans IntelliJ ID Visual Studio WebStrom Subline 3 Atom something like that you have the options in order to run the dot ID so I'm going to use IntelliJ ID for dot click on this go here and download the IntelliJ ID for dot just by clicking here it's a one-step process guys I have already downloaded you just download and install the execution file yeah hi guys I hope that everyone have installed the 
dot id in your laptop so just open the lead id for me in my desktop you may you guys may find a shortcut here or else you just browse here in the lead id something like that the online editor for the community editor it may take some time guys you know to open okay guys you may be able to see something like this after you install your dot id and go to configure what are the things that we have done in the past the same thing we are going to do here and if someone missed something just see here configure plugins like the same way that we have done in past flutter okay right now i have installed the flutter here but you guys may not have the flutter in your laptop dot so you will find something like install option here you just click on the install and dot id will ask you to restart your id so please restart your dot id in the way that you have done for your android studio and later when once your id was restarted click on the new project guys And now you can see dot here. So guys, I have already included my dot SDK path, but you guys may not have added this dot SDK path here. So I recommend you to do this in order to get started. You, I have added my dot SDK in my app drive. This is my dot SDK. Okay. this is the path that I am going to copy again the dot is okay yeah this is my SDK path I am going to copy and paste in dot SDK path okay you need to paste your dot SDK path here ID will automatically recognize the dot SDK if it's not found you may get some error here in the form of a label that SDK has not been formed here and click on that and one more thing guys select the console application a command line application sample then click on next let's name it as hello programmer hello programmer next Okay guys, successfully we have created our first Dart application. By default, you guys may see this window in your dot ID, I mean the intelligent ID. So guys, I would like to say you a few things here. Just click on expansion. Okay, you may see something like hello programmer dot calculate. You just try to run this code. You will find an interesting thing like hello world 42 hello world is there here but from where the 42 is came it is an interesting thing hello programmer dot calculate what is this function what is this all about just expand your library guys this is called hello programmer dot dot hello programmer dot calculate will call this calculate function and it is going to return 6 into 7 as 42 what is the function we are going to teach you in the next couple of tutorials what dot functions because the guys who have already programming background may able to know what is function but the guys who are new to programming may not be able to know what our functions are we are going to teach what our functions are in next couple of tutorials so guys we may do some rocking stuff in next couple of tutorials Okay, let's do some experiment here. I'm going to delete these guys. I would like to keep only the hello world. And this is a library to add the hello programmer dot dot. So guys, you may not need this library here right now. So right now we are doing some basic stuff. We may not need this list argument too right now. 
and this is the simple code that we have done in past in online IDE. The same thing we are going to keep here and click on run. You will find the hello world. Hey guys, this is your first program you have created in dot using IntelliJ IDE. So guys, we are going to use IntelliJ IDE for our next couple of tutorials in order to teach you the dot basics. Once we are done with the dot basics, we are going to start our full apps. Until please subscribe to our channel and hope you will like it. And moreover, guys, one happy thing for you, we have done the boring stuff. The boring stuff is in the sense the all the setup process. We are done with all, everything. From next couple of tutorials, we are going to focus only on the coding. Once the dot basics is done, we are going to start a cool apps so you guys may really like it. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Love you guys.